Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the three main things that changed my agency and that allowed me to scale to $25,000 in monthly recurring revenue. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Julian Corzo, and I run a short form content agency known as Just Create Studio. And I recently just launched a new offer known as Conquer Acquisitions, where I'm teaching online coaches and agency owners how to scale to 30K a month. Also guys, I have a free group where I have tons and tons of free valuable information, courses, and templates that you guys can utilize to scale your agency and coaching business. So if you aren't in that, there's 400 plus people in there and it's hosted in school. So do yourself a favor, click the link down below and join. When I first started my Instagram account and my personal brand, I was just posting content to go viral. I was making content on AI, Elon Musk and just random things that I knew would get views and I did build a following off of that but the problem was that the following that I built the people who were following me weren't going to be people who would pay for my service or program they just weren't qualified people and they weren't my ideal customer and I see a lot of people having this problem they are chasing views because the problem with making content that is super targeted that is super directed is that it's not going to perform well it's not going to get a lot of views so in turn we think that our content sucks and that the videos we are making just aren't working you see views is a vanity metric it's an ego thing you don't want to judge your content and your agency and your success based off views because that it just literally doesn't matter so what a lot of people do and what i did is i i was stuck in the organic grind right i was just posting tons and tons of organic content trying to build a following trying to get views but i didn't see money coming in i couldn't book any calls i just didn't i wasn't getting any more clients with my agency and that's all because i wasn't making content targeting my ideal customer i wasn't speaking in their language i wasn't relating to the people that i wanted to relate to and also it doesn't matter how much money you're spending on ads if your messaging and if your content isn't super clear Clear. So what did I do? Well, I got super clear on who my ideal customer is. I want to help agency owners and online coaches who are doing between 5 and 20k a month build a predictable and consistent system that's going to get them more qualified leads. I essentially want to help people who were in my position because we best serve the people we used to be. And I used to be an agency owner who had very unpredictable revenue and who didn't have a proven way to get more qualified leads. So my cash flow is always like this. I had massive fluctuations and I was solely relying on referrals and I was doing tons and tons of cold outreach, but yet I wasn't landing any more clients. So now I only speak to those type of people. I speak to my older self. So things that you guys can really do to attract qualified people is make content directly targeting them. Talk about their pain points, talk about their ideal outcomes, talk about things that they struggle with. I just had a call with someone and he was telling me that he wants to start a coaching offer, but he sees all these other people having coaching offers that are talking about scaling to 50 or 100K a month. So he had a lot of limiting beliefs because he hasn't been able to scale his agency to that type of size. But what he has been able to do was convert from a videographer to an agency owner. A videographer who had massive fluctuations each month in revenue to an agency owner who's optimized for monthly recurring revenue and has a better lifestyle. So that right there is a blue ocean offer. You cannot replicate someone else's story. So what he's gonna do now, he's gonna make content talking about his story relating to other videographers out there. And yeah, that type of content might not get any views, but that's gonna be the content that gets people to wanna buy and join your service or program. The second thing I did was I started to run ads and I created an acquisition system that was automated. So like I said before, for with my agency, I never had a predictable or consistent way to get more qualified leads. I was posting tons of organic content. I was doing tons of cold outreach, cold emails and cold DMs, and I was solely relying on referrals. So I didn't have like a predictable way just to get more people. So when one of my clients left, I didn't have a predictable way just to replace them right away. So that all changed when I started spending money on ads and I created a system that's gonna get me predictable and consistent leads on a daily basis. And that is known as the cash cow process. If you guys are just seeing me for the first time, you don't know what the cash cow process is, but it's essentially my process for getting qualified leads on a daily basis. And how you do that is first, you need an optimized Instagram to attract qualified people. Now, what does an optimized Instagram mean? 
It means your bio needs to be optimized. It means that you need a professional profile picture. And it means you need to have your funnel set. And your funnel is going to be your Instagram. You need to make sure that your funnel, your Instagram is optimized to attract people and have people DM you so you can book calls straight from your DMs. So that's how you are going to scale. You're going to utilize your Instagram. And instead of doing cold outreach, you're going to focus on warm outreach. And warm outreach is simply reaching out to people who are following you or who have engaged with your content before. So there aren't cold, they're warm. If you're messaging someone who has followed you or who has seen your content, they're already seeing you as some sort of expert. So when you DM them, they're most likely going to respond and it's going to be a lot easier to book a call with them instead of just relying on cold outreach when they have no idea what you do or who you are. The third thing is being client obsessed. It doesn't matter how many leads you are generating or how many people you're bringing in. If your current clients are leaving after a month, if your client retention is dog shit. So you have to be client obsessed. You have to figure out how can you get people amazing results and have these people stay for years. Because again, if you're getting people in, but a lot of people are leaving, you're going to be in this, you're going to be in the rat race, right? Continually getting, trying to get people in, get leads in, but having old people leave. So what you have to do is you have to be client obsessed and you have to treat these clients like prospects. Like they're not even clients yet, right? Like when, when you have a prospect, you're always following up with them. You're always messaging them. That's how you have to treat these clients. Because something great Alex Ramosi says is you can spend all of your time building out your product and then let your clients market it for you or spend very little time on your product and spend all of your time trying to market it yourself. And if you have a mixture of both, you have a great product, you're client obsessed and your clients are always preaching that, yo, Julian is the best guy out there. His program is amazing. And you have ads running at the same time. That's how you're really going to scale in the long run. And I'm going to give you guys a bonus one. But number four is building systems and creating SOPs. A year ago, I did not know what a system was or a standard of procedure. I was doing everything myself and I was micromanaging everything. So I was literally working 24 hours. I would always be thinking about stuff that I have to do. I'd always be thinking about clients. I was doing everything. And that is the definition of you serving a business instead of a business serving you. If you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, like you're always anxious, you're always thinking about business, you're always stressed out, even though you've done everything, that is one of the worst feelings you can have and it's simply not sustainable and it's not the way you want your life to be. So it wasn't until I started building systems in place and delegating all of these tasks when I really was able to scale and almost like, it was like a heavy, it was like a heavy weight on my shoulder that was lifted. Hire offshore VAs that can replicate what you do so you can focus on the things that really grow your business because it's 20% of the tasks that move 80% of the business. And the other task, what you need to do is automate it, delegate it, or simply remove it. You as a business owner cannot be micromanaging every single thing. You need to build systems. You need to build a team in place so you can focus on the main things that's going to bring in money marketing and sales. But with that being said, guys, we're at the end of the video and I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this. And like I say in every video, guys, please leave some criticism. Leave any tips you guys have that will make me better and make these YouTube videos better. And if you guys have any video ideas that you want me to make or anything you want to learn about, please comment them down below. But with that being said, guys, if you've watched the whole video, thank you so much. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.